Here in Shoreview with the Pinnacle School of Wrestling, Brandon Paulson, guy knows a little bit about this Greco-Roman thing. We're leading up to the Olympic Trials qualifier in Las Vegas. Kind of got a taper day, played some really, really ugly soccer. But, uh, you know, what's the preparation been like here the last couple weeks leading into Las Vegas? First of all, Minnesota soccer is anything but ugly. It's beautiful. Been playing it since, I don't know, early 90s. And we did Minnesota versus the world today. Of course, Minnesota won. Although we're all Storm team members, everybody from Minnesota. So we, we got some skills. So if anybody wants to take us on, we're, we're willing to accept. But yeah, it was a it was a good day of soccer. Yeah, we're just kind of tapering, getting ready for the Open. Uh, it's Olympic year, so it's exciting. Can't wait to get out to Vegas. So the guys are feeling pretty good, ready to go. Uh, got, got a lot of guys in the room, which is nice. You know, in years past, you know, eight, you know, six, seven years ago even, we were having two to four guys in the room. Now we got 14. You know, it's Olympic year, so it's good to see Jake Clark back. Whenever the Olympic year comes, Jake Clark comes back. So you you, you just watch 2020, 2024, uh, as the guys turn up the music, uh, Clark will be back. But now, the question about Jake, though, is as, hey. as he found his teeth. Technical difficulties due to Joe Rao. Um, you know, Brandon, what's, you know, Joe is... Joe's an interesting fella. You know, you never know what you're going to get with him. You know, we're trying to do an interview. He doesn't really care about that. So he cares about himself. What I think he the most... about eating. The interesting part about Joe Rao being an Elmhurst guy is he, he, he's wearing an Augsburg shirt. Oh, he's hiding it now. He's taking it off. So he's, uh, you know, I guess that's, that's kind of a rule. You have to wear I'm, some Minnesota gear here. I'm not sure if him taking the shirt off was a good idea either. I mean, look at that body. That body is a potential Olympic medalist right there. Imagine that. Uh... Uh, guys are pretty lighthearted right now, but we're ready to go. We're feeling good. Can't wait to get out there and uh, compete with the best in the country. Um, should be a fun trip. So when it comes to the Olympic year, the preparations, the schedule shifted around. Uh, last cycle, we're qualifiers now in December, building for Olympic trials in, in Iowa City. So, you know, how has that changed when you're preparing guys for the Open in a non-Olympic year, where it's in, you know, it's in April versus, you know, all right, you know, we we finished the World Championships not that long ago. We got to get right back at it. Yeah, it's a little bit different, you know, and it's different for each guy. It's going to be different for a, a Jordan Holm who went to the Worlds and these other guys. You know, the other guys at the World Championships, we were in here the next week. And, you know, because we need to work on some technical issues. We had uh, uh, some things that you got to get better, and there's not that much time. So that September, October, that was our time for technical uh, stuff. And then now now it's it's kind of preparing for Olympic trials. We need to get qualified, but, you know, the goal is to make that Olympic team. So everything's leading up to that and peaking for the Olympic trials because because that's where we want to be and that's where we want to win. And, and then again for the Olympics. So The mind of an athlete, how much, how much of a toll does this take when – you know, you get there, you got to prep for that. And a lot of these, you know, not everybody's going to have the opportunity to qualify first time through. And then there's the last chance qualifiers. I mean, how do you got to keep these guys stay, staying focused? Uh, if you're an elite, elite athlete, it doesn't matter. You want to be the best in the world and whatever you got to do to get there, that's what you do. So uh, for the guys that really want it, 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 it shouldn't matter. I'm going to try to prepare each guy as well as I can, peak them the right way. Um, and But it's up to them to be motivated. It's up to them to, to stay focused on, on the goal, and that's that Olympic gold. So uh, if you are training at this level, it, it's kind of on you. So you better be ready. You better – something might happen where you have to keep training hard to get to qualify that weight or to qualify yourself. So, um, so yeah, I, I, these guys are going to be ready. 